Hello and welcome to how to find out your well pump's flow rate in gallons per minute. In this short video we'll show you how you can find out your well pump's flow rate. Here's how a typical well pump is set up. You have a pressure switch that turns on and off the well pump and the, pr the pressure switch typically turns on at a lower pressure of 30 to 50 psi and then off at a higher pressure of 50 to 70 psi. This is called the cut in and cut out. In this video we're going to be covering how to check your well water flow rate for a standard single speed pump controlled by a pressure switch. This is still the most common type of system out there. Some folks have a submersible pump that has variable speed and is referred to as a constant pressure system. You can identify if you have a constant pressure system because typically you would see a small expansion tank and there'd be a controller and pressure sensor instead of the larger standard pressure tank and pressure switch. This video doesn't pertain to you and if you do have this system uh, it's best to consult your well contractor and find out the specs on what your flow rate is for this type of system. Okay, flow rate is simply defined as how many gallons in one minute is pumping from your well when your well pump's running. It's generally determined by the size of your well pump and to an extent the capacity of your well. Here are the easy steps to take. Step one, open a spigot or faucet, also sometimes referred to as a hose bib, to, and get the well pump started. Make sure no one else is using water in your home at the time. So you're basically opening up a spigot, hose bib, or faucet and running water until you can hear the well pump kick in and start to run, or you hear the pressure points click, or you hear water running from the well. Step two, close the spigot or faucet, allow well pump to fill up pressure tank and shut off. Now your pressure tank is full. Step three, using a five gallon bucket, measure water from your pressure tank. So basically you're, what you're doing is you're using a garden hose and filling up a five gallon bucket and you're noting how many gallons you can collect before the well pump turns back on. This is called the drawdown. You'll hear the pressure switch click and the water rushing. Um, so it's, it's not difficult to hear when your well pump can turn back on typically. Step four <clears throat> is time the pump cycle in seconds. So after this running this bigot or faucet, at some point the well pump will turn back on. When the pump turns on, immediately close the spigot and start timing your pump cycle in seconds. For example, if it takes three minutes to fill your pressure tank, make a note of 180 seconds. Divide number of gallons collected in step three by the number of seconds in step four. That's it. Basically, now you have the answer. You multiply that, that answer in step six by 60, and the answer is the average pump capacity of your pump in gallons per minute. So for example, say you collected five gallons in your drawdown and you had 25 seconds for the well to refill your pressure tank. Five divided by 25 times 60 equals 12, which means you have approximately 12 gallons per minute. If you have any questions about that, please give us a call or email us at support at cleanwaterstore.com. Another really great resource is the National Groundwater Association's wellowner.org. We've been members of the National Groundwater Association for many years, and, and their site has a lot of great information, particularly for homeowners. And you can also find um, well contractors and well driller referrals to that site as well. Thanks for watching.